TikTok algorithm. This video will break down exactly how the TikTok algorithm works in 2023. You will learn everything you need to know to become an algorithm expert. And it's not what you might think. And I guarantee that you will know how to go viral by the end of this video. As a guy who has 2.7 million followers on TikTok, I believe I qualify to be your mentor for this video. First of all, you need to know about the point system. This is a way of measuring some specific actions towards your videos. And these actions can either damage your videos or make them go viral. So basically the way this system works, imagine your video starts with zero points. When your video reaches the first audience, it gathers the positive points and the negative points. So by getting more positive ones and less negative ones, you get higher chances of going viral. Let's start with the negatives. First of all is the report. Getting your video reported is the most negative action of all. It will damage your video and it can damage your account. So make sure your content is not reportable at all. The next worst one is the not interested button. Getting people clicking or not interested on your videos shows the algorithm that they are not worthy of being watched. Or if you're lucky, it might stop promoting the video to just a specific audience. Next one, you might be surprised, but it is leaving the app right after they watch your video. And this can be a trap for many creators because many are promoting something outside the app. Maybe it is a YouTube channel or a product. It is a bad sign for the algorithm. And that's because TikTok gets money by having people watching videos and watching ads. So if you're sending people away from the app, TikTok doesn't really like that and it will flag your video in some way. And the last one is the scroll. Someone watches just your hook or your intro and scrolls, then, you know, that's, that's bad. If you struggle at creating hooks and people just end up scrolling past your videos, I have a free resource for you. It contains over 80 hooks that I have used and have helped me go viral. I have also extra tips in there and how to use specific hooks and in which situations they are good and why they are good. Just go down the description below and click the link. And this way you will also join my email list where each Monday I will send you an email containing some free tips or maybe insights or a case study that I found. And this way we keep contact just in case something happens with YouTube, you know. So go in the description and click the link. And with that, let's jump to the positive ones. Let's go. The strongest positive action is watch time. Now there is a difference between percentage and seconds watched. If you make a short video, for example, a 30 second video, for that video, you will want to get a high percentage of watch time, preferably over 100% or at least close to 100%. But if you make a video that is one minute long or more and you get 60 or 70% watch time, I've made a lot of long videos in the past on TikTok and I was going viral with millions of views and a watch time of around 70%. So this way you have some decisions to make when optimizing your content. Do you want to make shorter, fast-paced videos that make the viewer want to watch it again? If you're good at that, then go ahead. But if you're good at storytelling and you can make a long-ass video and make people watch at least 60%, then do that. You have to play around a bit, test things out, see what works, see what doesn't. That's why TikTok gives you the analytics, so you can conduct your own experiments as a researcher, then get the results and optimize your content. Number two is follow. It tells the algorithm that, hey, that viewer that just watched the video of this content creator just followed them. So they will start pumping out more content to that viewer and also pumping out more content to other viewers that are similar to this one that followed you. Then in the third place, you have profile visits because the profile visits are what converts the viewer into the follower and the follower into a true fan. Then you have shares, which are kind of important. That's why you see many videos of people telling you tap copy link share and copy link because it will help me. You don't really have to tell and encourage people to do that. Then you have commenting and saving. You know, social media gurus will tell you to always reply to comments and engage. Well, it is important for building trust with your audience. And lastly, we have likes. They're good to get, but you don't have to encourage the audience to like your video. So now I want to explain to you a concept called algorithm chain. At least that's what I call it. This basically explains how the algorithm works as a whole. How does exactly your video go viral. The algorithm chain will answer that. Make sure you watch all the way through because after I explain the algorithm chain, I will tell you exactly which two components you should focus on in order to leverage the algorithm and make your videos go viral every time. So you make a video and you upload it. The algorithm takes that video and promotes it to a specific audience. It decides what audience it should first target by watching your keywords that you might have used in the description, in the hashtags, or maybe even in the video. And using these keywords, it picks a sample audience and promotes the video to that audience. So now this audience, this 
this first group of people interact with your video. Some might scroll past it, others might like it or share it, others might watch the whole thing maybe even twice, and others might randomly close the app. So after the algorithm sees how specific people react and interact with your video, it will break that group into two groups. Then the one group will be people who reacted positively and the other group people who reacted negatively. So after they see how the people who reacted positively again interact with your video, it will target even more people who are similar to those interests and target audience and all that. So the group of people becomes even larger and the algorithm is testing even more people. And for the people who reacted negatively, it will take that target group and promote it to the same type of audience again, but to a much smaller number of people. And it does that to make sure that this audience is not interested in your video and will stop promoting to this target audience after that. Then it will take that larger group of people that it promoted the video after seeing the positive results and this target audience will become even bigger. There it will test new audiences, it will test the same audiences and some might react negatively again. It will again break down into two, people who mostly reacted positively and people who mostly reacted negatively. And it will again do the same thing, eliminating the people who react negatively and trying to stop completely promoting to people who are not interested. And then it tries to find more people who interacted positively with your video. And once it finds more and more people who react positively, the views you will get are unlimited. Now, of course, I don't mean literally unlimited, but the number will be pretty high. And depending on the niche and the target audience, it might reach a million views, 10 million views, or maybe even 100 million views. I know it might be complicated, but let me give you a small example to make it really clear. So let's say you make a video about cars. TikTok takes that video and sees that it is about cars and promotes it to a specific target audience. It will test out, for example, 18-year-old dudes, and it will test out 35-year-old women. It may test out fathers who are married or households who have high income or low income. So after it sees that the 35-year-old women are not really interested in cars, it will separate that audience and that will be the not-so-interested audience who reacted negatively, which means that they might just have scrolled past your video. But then the algorithm sees that the 18-year-old dudes are really interested in cars and they really liked your video. And maybe even the fathers who have high income were kind of interested in the video. So it takes these target audiences and also finds similar type of people and promotes the video to a larger group. And then it tries to see which one of these are interested and which ones are not. And you know, until it finds the people who are really interested in your videos and promotes it more and more to these people. And the more positively they interact, the more people you're gonna reach. And if it sees that even the positive ones start to react kinda negatively, it will at some point stop. That's why you might have videos who get views really fast, but then stop at like 100k views. They don't quite go viral, but they are really close to going viral. So this means that you might have done a mistake in the edit, maybe it wasn't really interesting, or maybe just the algorithm didn't manage to find the audience that would be the perfect for your video. And that's why you have to check the analytics to see what you can change. But let me tell you the most important thing to take out of this one. What can you do with this information? I will tell you what matters the most and what you should focus on in order to leverage this algorithm chain. So the two things you should really focus on is watch time, which we have already covered pretty much, and secondly, profile visits. Profile visits is a very powerful tool. It is basically a weapon. It is what gives your page and your content depth, which will be a moneymaker. What you should avoid doing is creating just random videos here and there about random topics in your niche. So instead of creating videos without any purpose, except of course for helping people and entertaining them, but you should see a bit deeper than that. Make a video that will make your audience go to your pinned posts. So they have to go to your profile and check your pinned videos. And after they check your pinned videos, they have to watch the playlist. So one video will be in a playlist and they will have to watch all the other videos. And maybe another pinned video will be in another playlist. So they have to watch all these videos as well. And after they watch the videos in the playlist, one of these videos will lead them to another video that might be a reply to a comment. And that video naturally will lead to another video. And now my friends, you have created true fun. A true fun that will watch all these videos, will follow you, and then will go to your product page and buy your services and products. This will be the kind of viewer that watches all your videos, that reads your newsletter, and when you drop a new product, a new service, they will be the first one to get it. By building depth with your videos and content, you can grow an audience and true fans and monetize your content effectively. This is the secret. So now that you've watched this video, make sure to watch this video next where you 
will learn everything you need to know about the TikTok shadow ban and what to do in case you get one. So I will see you over there. Bye bye.